Hi, I'm Dave Weagle. Welcome to my shop here in Egertown, Massachusetts. Uh, in case you're wondering what this big chunk of machinery behind me is, that's uh, my Roerig EMA shock dyno. It's what I use to tune all of the dampers um, in, the in the prototype stages. Uh, today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about my split pivot suspension design. Split pivot was from the beginning really designed to be a simple, simple system that can make the most out of the, what the damper can do and, and really take advantage of a bunch of the principles that I had applied to some of my other suspension systems in the very early days. The heart of the split pivot design and one of the focuses of its patent portfolio is the concentric dropout pivot located at the rear axle. Structurally, split pivot is a pretty simple design. It's a single pivot for acceleration. There's no trickery there. In any split pivot design, the three main components are the wheel link, which attaches the wheel via the split pivot to the front triangle here via the main pivot, and that's our single pivot for acceleration purposes. We have the brake link, which attaches the brake via the split pivot to the control link up here. And the control link controls how the brake link moves as it cycles through the travel. The control link also has another really important function. It allows me to control leverage ratio, which is really just a mathematical representation of vertical wheel travel versus shock compression distance. Leverage ratio is really important because it allows me to take into account the variable rate of the air spring and also the characteristics of the damper itself. This can become really sophisticated when I start using the shock dyno to develop different tunes for the dampers as we're in the prototype process. A big part of the split pivot design is allowing the damper to do its job to the best of its abilities. On the Da Vinci line, I've gone to great lengths to allow us to use off-the-shelf damper tunes. And when the damper tunes haven't been perfect from the factory, we've worked with the suspension suppliers to make it so that their damper tunes off the shelf are perfectly suited for our bikes. The split pivot design really shines when it comes to braking performance. The brake link is essentially a floating brake. It floats between the wheel link via the split pivot and the control link. One great feature that we've incorporated into the split pivot design on the DaVinci bikes is this adjustable geometry pivot. And by just flipping this pivot one side to the other, you can change the geometry from a low setting to a high setting. So you can basically set the bike up for any riding style or any rider type. The 2013 Wilson Carbon is also a split pivot design, but visually it's radically different from the Atlas and the Dixon. The wheel link is in the seat stay position on the Wilson. You can see here's the main pivot and it connects the rear wheel down by the split pivot here. The brake link is actually in the chainstay position. You can see the brake actually attaches all the way up here down to the chainstay. And then the control link floats concentrically around the bottom bracket pivot. So you can kind of think of it as an inversion of what we use on the Atlas and the Dixon. 